welcome to my gentle audio flow. So today, slowing you down, working softly and just being a bit more fluid. Again, always connecting with the breath. So this is suitable for everyone. Um, if you want something a little bit more gentle, if you probably practice a little bit harder, perfect for you. Um, and if you're new to yoga, also great for you too. So we're going to start in a seated position, closing down your eyes, hands onto your, your knees. If you want to set a block, you can set a block. I'm going to start with some seated cat cow. Inhale, pulling your chest through, and then as you exhale, rounding through your spine, rolling up your sitting bones. Inhale, pulling yourself through. Exhale to go back. So you can make it as big or as small as feels good today. So our bodies are different every single day, so don't ever have any expectations of how you should be. Just let your body guide you. So switching on your ujjayi breath, that ocean breath, restricting the back of the throat. And engaging your bandhas on each exhale. So the middle bandha like pelvic floor, and the body out of bandha these like sort of lower transverses. You can stay going forward and backwards, or you might want to start circling. So inhale the first half, exhale complete the circle. Again, making it big or small, just be really mindful, listen to your body, what feels right, what feels wrong. Just connecting the movement with the breath. Inhale the first half, exhale, complete the circle. And then if you're circling, just start going back the other way. Nice, and we're just careful, just working through, exploring the, the movement. And then coming back to centre, rolling over your shins, coming onto hands and knees, coming into the cat cow like this. First finger forward, inhale, dropping your stomach down, pulling your shoulders away from your ears. Exhale, rounding through your spine, pressing through the floor, doming through your spine. Inhale, arching, dropping the stomach. Exhale to round. As you exhale, you draw belly button to spine. And then holding your cow stretch, you're dropping your stomach down and walking your hands forward. And then toss in a puppy pose. You might bring your forehead down to the mat, or you might go chin and chest. It just depends on your shoulders and your spine. So without forcing, just going as far as feels good. I'm going to stay here today. It's actually a bit more of an active stretch. Wing breath. If you can't breathe, just back up. And then come forward onto your stomach. Bringing your fingertips outside your mat and line with your shoulders. Inhale, breathing in, lengthening. Exhale to come down. So you can make it as big or as small as your spine allows. Again, no forcing, no expectation. So I always like to have your eyes closed. You can just feel the poses, feel the movement, and really allow your body to guide you. So your body has so much knowledge to teach you. We get so stuck in our heads and thinking that's where it all comes from, but take the time and allow your body to teach you. And then pressing back, hand either side of your shoulders, coming to child's pose, bum to your heels, arms extended. And coming back through tabletop, tucking your toes under. I'm going to lift this down facing dog. So lifting up, your knees might be bent, pressing chest towards thighs, maybe pedaling out your dog, pressing down to one here, one to the other. You might want to take a twist, so bring your right hand, reach it through, twist, look under your left arm there. And then change sides, twist the other way. And then back to centre. So we're going to do some little rivers, finding movement and fluidity through the spine. As you inhale, rolling up, lower back, middle back, upper back, into a high plank. Bend the knees, lifting your sitting bones up to reverse. Inhale, rippling forward. Exhale to reverse. Two more. Inhale, come forward, try to find 
each vertebrae bone by bone. I don't have that much movement in my spine. So yours might look very different to mine. And then slowly walking your feet to the top of your mat. Coming into a round up. Holding opposite elbows, just shaking side to side. And then release. And slowly as you inhale, rolling up vertebrae by vertebrae. Head comes up last. Take a couple little side stretches. Inhale, reach your arms up, holding your left wrist, lengthen and then take a little side stretch. Inhale to centre, exhale to the other side, back to centre. One more each side, find length rather than collapsing into the underside of your waist. And then the other side. And then come back to centre, bring your arms by your side. So we're going to do a variation of stone in the sky. Feet together, grounding down, gaze band is coming to your breath. Inhale, lifting the prayer up, look to your thumbs. Exhale, folding over your legs. Inhale, step your right foot back, drop your back knee so you get a little bit of an opening through your hip. Exhale, step back to downward facing dog as slowly as you can. Inhale, come forward, drop to your knees. Exhale, sitting your bum to your heels for a child's pose. Inhale, scooping forward, staying low, coming into your baby cobra. Exhale, pressing back up through knees, downward facing dog. One breath here, so inhale, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, step right foot between your hands, you can use your hand to help you drop your back knee, look forward. Exhale, left foot meets right. Inhale, rising all the way up and look to your thumb. Exhale, hands to heart centre. So same on the left. Inhale to lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale, left foot back, drop your back knee, that little lift and lengthen. Then exhale as slowly as you can. Step back to your downward facing dog. Inhale, coming forward, drop to your knees. Exhale to child's pose. Inhale, pulling yourself through to your baby cobra. And then exhale, downward facing dog. One breath here. Again, inhale, two, three, four. And exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, left foot between your hands, drop your back knee. Exhale, right foot meets left. Inhale, rising up, looking to your thumb. Exhale, hands to heart centre. Same on the right. Inhale, lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale, right foot back. Drop your back knee. Exhale, down the face of dog. Inhale, coming forward. Exhale, drop to the knees. Sit bum to heels. Inhale, pulling yourself through to your baby cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Hold it here for that one breath. Nice and steady. Inhale, right foot between your hands, drop your back knee. Exhale, left foot meets right. Inhale, rising all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Last time on the left, inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale, left foot back, drop your back knee, look forward. Exhale, slowly downward facing. Inhale, coming forward, drop to the knees. Exhale, charge point. Inhale, pulling yourself through to your baby cobra. Exhale, downward facing. Slow and steady again. Inhale, two, three, four. And exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, left foot forward, drop your back knee, look forward. Exhale, right foot meets left. Inhale, rising all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart centre, bring the hands by your side, start with Titi. Inhale, look in the crowd. Exhale, folding over your legs. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, step back to a plank. Straight to downward facing dog. Inhale, lifting your right leg. 
And then exhale, step right foot between your hands. Drop your back knee, and then inhale, lifting up. Inhale, hands together at heart center. Exhale, take a twist to your right, looking over your left shoulder. Just hold it here and breathe. So you're using that pressing action into the elbow against your thigh to help you to twist. And breathe. Inhale, back to center. You're going to walk your right foot across, untuck your back toe, coming into pigeon. So flexing your right foot to protect the knee. If this is too much, you can come into a sleeping swarm where both legs are bent. Otherwise, in your pigeon, you can stay here if that's enough for you. Otherwise, you're folding forward. Just breathing into the stretch. Stretching through your hip. Softening with every exhale. Time. 
You can drop to your knees if you want a little bit of strength. You can lower all the way down. We're going to do some back bends. So on a first of all, sphinx. If you want to stay in sphinx, elbows underneath your shoulders. You can just drop your head and draw you to stay there for the duration. Otherwise, you're going to come into cobra. So pressing down to the tops of your feet, stomach muscles pulled in. So really engage, arms outside and then hover. Inhale, breathing in, pressing down through your feet, still engaging your stomach muscles. Exhale, hold. Rather than lifting your head up and creating a crease, keep length to the back of your neck. One more. And then bring one cheek to the mat. Arms by your side, you can rock your hips from side to side. You can stay with that, or we're going to lift everything. So bringing your feet together, interlacing your hands behind you, or you can have your arms either side. And then you're going to lift everything. Inhale, lift. Exhale, hold. Inhale, try and lift a little bit higher. Exhale, hold. Still engaging your stomach muscles. Last time, inhale, lift. And then the other cheek to the mat. Again, rocking side to side. Maybe bending your knees and just windscreen wide for it. Either side. And then it's pressing back to a wide knees, child's pose. Forehead to the mat. And again, just soften. Slowly rolling up. Dropping your bum to one side. We're going to come into a little bridge. So let's slowly as you can roll down, vertebrae by vertebrae. And then bring your heels so you can just touch. Just touch your heels, rolling up, pressing down to your feet, bringing your shoulders underneath you, interlace your fingers and pressing your hips up. So you're using your glutes to lift your hips, taking it out of the lower back, and just hold it here. Breathing. Imagine you're squeezing a block between your thighs. Or if you've got one hand, you can even place a block between your thighs. Couple more breath. And then release your shoulders. Slowly roll down, lifting your heels, little upper back, middle back, lower back. And we're just going to finish off with a little twist. So you can either just let your knees drop to the left, stay like that. Otherwise, you're bringing your legs up, crossing right over left. Maybe go for a double wrap. Shift your hips slightly to the right. Bend your knees and just let the knees drop to the left. Turn your gaze over your right shoulder. Twisted roots. This is a yin pose. So normally you'd stay here for more than three minutes. But today we're just going to stay here for about five breaths. So inhale and breathe in nice and deeply. Let's just even just soften a little bit more into the pose. Stretching through the glute, through your IT band, all the way through into your upper back. Feels too much, just back off. And then come back to centre. Undo the twist, we take a little rebound to feet the width of the mat. Let your knees drop together and just hold it here for a couple of breaths. Before we move on to the other side. Massaging out through your lower back. 
Those of you doing a single side, change. Bring the left leg in, release the right. Hold it there, cut more breath. And then release, Shavasana. So let your feet drop to the side, palms to the ceiling. Just releasing everything, just breathing normally in and out through your nose. Thank you. 